What's going on, trading family? So for this video, we're going to talk about the United Kingdom because finally we could get some economic data that could give us some sort of a direction regarding fundamentals, because this is exactly what the Bank of England pay attention to in order to make that decision for that next rate decision. Right. So what we're going to be focusing on is the United Kingdom's labor data. So that's going to come out and it's going to be unemployment. Uh, employment right and wages okay so wages is inflationary so that's definitely something you have to focus on as well i know if you're looking at forex factory or some regular um some regular ca uh, calendar that's free they show you that the only important ones is most likely unemployment but you have to pay attention to all the metrics right because we need to see a trend of the labor markets and the reason why I like to focus on the labor markets is because this is what the central banks pay attention to in order to make their decisions in the future. That's how they could track where most likely where is inflation going to go. Right. So this is how I would trade this event. If we see that labor data is actually worse than expected. This should definitely give us weakness in the pound currency. And that is the ideas that I want to take advantage of, especially over my live calls, because I am trading this live. So I'm hoping for a weaker print because recently we had Governor Bailey come out and announce that they are now looking for the possibility of cutting rates, but they need data to support it. So at least now they're open to the idea of rate cuts. So this is why labor data is extremely important, all right? But there's still a chance if labor data do come out higher than expected, right, that can strengthen the pound currency, which is going to lead to the Bank of England staying more restrictive, higher for longer, which that gives strength to the pound currency, okay? Not ideally what I want to take advantage of, but it could set up for some good scalps for that trading session if we get those two scenarios. All right. What you want to stay away from if the data comes out as expected, if it comes out as expected from the forecast, that's not tradable. All right. So you don't want to trade that event because it's not giving you an edge. It's not telling you which direction the pound currency should go. Should it get weaker? Should it go stronger? If data comes out as expected, stay away wait for another opportunity. All right, guys. Now there's a chance that we could get mixed data from this event. Those are very hard, right? It takes experience to learn how to take advantage of those opportunities. But what I want to focus on is wages and unemployment. I think those two should literally give an edge. But if they go against each other, that is another reason to just stay away from the markets. All right. So if you have to stay away, what is the next tradable opportunity? We also have the United Kingdom's CPI data coming up. This is definitely should give us the bigger picture because inflation is the main focus for the central banks, because what is their goals? Right. The goal is to lower inflation. Right. They want to see inflation actually lowering to their two percent target. And if they get the idea that inflation is lowering, then they have no reason to keep rates restrictive. They have no reasons to keep rates high because the longer to keep rates high, it's going to impact the economy. It's going to cost those recessionary fears. And I know the United Kingdom do not want that again. Right. So if inflation goes lower than expected, right, that is going to weaken the pound currency. That should set up beautiful trade opportunities before the actual rate decision for the Bank of England. So, again, a lower print from labor and inflation. I'm going to be all over those cells. Hopefully you will, too. If we see that inflation does come out higher than expected, that should keep the pound stronger. And will that set for a swing trade opportunity? Probably not. But it can still lead to some really good possible trades at that current moment. But with the beauty of these two prints of labor and inflation, if data comes out higher or comes out lower, it's going to still set for some good trades regardless, because the central banks like the Bank of England at this moment, they're going to be focusing on this data and whatever direction labor or inflation goes, that is most likely the tone they're going to try to keep for that rate decision, meaning are they going to be hawkish or are they going to be dovish? Are they going to be looking to keep rates higher 
or are they going to still talk about keeping rates lower, right? So this is why this data is so important, right? And I know most people like trading technicals. Add technicals with your fundamentals so you can take advantage of the best tradable opportunities. Hopefully this helps, guys. And after this rate decision, I will, after this data, I will be doing an update on the markets afterwards. And I'd like to see if you guys take advantage of this trades. Have a good one.